10 G's? Shit, that's a lot of money. I was going to spend the night with a six pack in the ball game, but then I got the phone call. I haven't made that kind of dough since before I was thrown into the pen. I had to meet her. I heard that he was taking up quarters with another girl. <laughs> I heard Harry it was. What do you mean, ladies? I believe one of you has been expecting me. Not that I know of. Get out of here, you creep. Hey there. I've been expecting I can show you a great time. Uh, I'm here for business, not pleasure, man. Have you seen a woman here looking for a locksmith? Funny you should ask. The lady over there in a black dress, she's been asking about a locksmith. Been here about, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes. You know, it's rude to keep a lady waiting. Thanks for the condescending attitude. Anytime. This broad looked like Atlantic City on a Tuesday. Bright and shiny on the outside, but on the inside, trouble. I'm Dan Frost. Spoke on the telephone earlier. You're late. I know. I got stuck in traffic. I don't usually come to this side of town. It's a real dump. Such poor planning. Not the kind of guy I'm looking for. Look, lady, I dragged myself over to this side of town, and you're gonna sit here and tell me what you're offering. This is a highly sensitive issue. I need a serious man, and if you're not ready to be serious, I have others waiting. Well, looks like you're ready to be serious. I'm Natasha Montgomery, and I'm afraid I need a man with your talents. You're gonna have to be more specific. What do you need? You need a body to disappear? Not yet. No, I have something easier. I need a locksmith. You come to the right guy. What needs breaking into? An ordinary, simple safe. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Lady, in the 15 years I've been doing this, nothing's been as simple as it seems. Now what's your angle? No angle. Just need something important that's rightfully mine. And if I refuse? That's it. That's it. Take it, or leave it. I don't know why I put myself into these kinds of situations with these crazy dames, but 10 G's for a few minutes of work? I'll take crazy over broke any day. Usually jobs like this are a one-man gig. What are you gonna do? Hold the flashlight? I have to protect my investment. You can say I'm a hands-on lady. We'll get to that later. Ooh! I said later! Where's the safe? It's over here. I need my specs. Got it. Hey! Hey, what's the big idea? Guy. You paid me to break into your own house? Look, I can explain. Natasha. Edmund, I thought you were in Tangiers. I came back early. Good thing, too. I thought you might try something like this. And who the hell are you? Who the hell 
am I. Only the best locksmith in the city. You're going to be the best locksmith in cell block E. All right, both of you, hands in the air. You can't take what's rightfully mine. It was my grandmother's. You had no right to take it in the divorce. You should have hired better lawyers. <laughs> oh, Natasha. Always with the dramatics. Put that tiny thing away. You know you're not going to shoot me. Well, I'm not going to get my 10 G's. But this night doesn't have to be a total loss. All because of another crazy dame. Good thing I met her. I might even see the end of that ball game.